I respect this team a lot. Um, they're strong, they're strong independent women um, who challenge themselves every day to, for the same goal, and that's to win the WWCFL championship. It was working with the Riot that inspired me to go back to school and get my degree in sport management um, because of the passion and the love that I have for this team and for being a general manager um, for the team and just for in general. With my depression, um, some days it, I just have that feeling in my, in my head and I'm not feeling well um, mentally and then it affects me physically as well um, and I don't want to be around people when when I'm when I'm in that depressive state so it's really hard to get out of bed um, if I don't have something that motivates me that makes me happy and something I want to do. Mental health should not be something we hide from. Um, I want to give other people inspiration to come out or to know that they're not alone. Um, I want to start the conversation and I want to keep the conversation going. The reason I got the tattoo of the semicolon on my wrist is because I chose to continue my story and to tell my story instead of ending my life and my story. I was bullied a lot in school, um, had a great home life, but I couldn't communicate that with my family. So I decided that I couldn't live anymore. I wasn't happy um, either at home or at school. So I thought the only option I had was to end my life. It's been 19 years since um, I made that decision to continue my life. And I've grown a lot since that person. I, I, I have depressive, I have less depression episodes each year. Um, and so it does surprise people that I can go into that depression state and be sad and not be able to get out of bed in the morning. There were years where there were 365 days of the bad days. So to have probably over 300, maybe even 340 days out of the year to be genuinely happy and happy with myself and where I am is extremely pleasing and exciting.